Welcome back to Spring Boot Essential Scores. In this class, I will show you how to work with JAWS tokens. And in order to work with tokens, we will have to create our own authorization and authentication filters. So JAWS tokens, they are really useful because you can encrypt data inside these tokens and they are supported by uh, almost all protocols from HTTP to remote procedural calls through SOAP or Apache Thrift or any other kind of remote procedure call. And it's really good, especially with uh, integrations between two or more services. Now, HTTP basic, as we saw, every time we were going in, we had to stop here uh, and Mr. Authentication would ask, who are you? Now, with token, we will get this card here and we can actually skip this step uh, with authentication. But if we try to get here to the authorization filter without the authentication, we will have access denied. So it's actually a little bit faster, but we have a little bit of performance uh, overhead because we have to encrypt and decrypt the token. But that is not the is not an issue here. So in order to proceed, let's do a few modifications here. The first modification is Let's work with a module because right now we have our service here, but working with the user details. But what if we want to have our own user on inside our application? So let's create a model here. Let's call, let's create a package called module and then let's create a class called application user. Inside this class, we will create only two attributes, username and password now let's create out insert get and setter and let's create a constructor to make our life easier with another default constructor so we have our application user now uh, on the custom user details let's change uh, let's create here a method. Imagine that this method will make a call to our database application user. If you are using Hibernate, application user by username. And we will get here the string username. And let's return new application user with these credentials this password will be encrypted okay and here we will create here application user application user load application user by username username and let's change here to username and instead of getting hard-coded this Username we will get we will get from application user I'll get username and here dot get password. So this is our custom user details service modified. Okay, so now we are working with models and Remember that I say that if we want to work with tokens, we have to change the authentication filter and the authorization filter. If you are changing these two filters, we have to change our security config. But before we get to this point, we have to work on our JAW token. To create our JAW token, we are not actually doing that by ourselves. We are going to use uh, a special library. So do not try to create your own token. Let's create, uh, let's go to palm.xml. Let's uh, add here another dependency. Let's call io.json web token artifact id jj.wt 
and the version let's say I think the most recent one is 0 not 7 not 0 okay this is not related with spring as I said you can use it with Java you can use it with C Python JavaScript there is a lot of libraries for this JSON web token Jot. Okay, now we have our Jot on our pond.xml, and now we will need uh, a few security constants that we will use on our filters. So, first, let's create our filters. Let's call GWT authentication filter, and let's create another one called GWT authorization filter. Now let's work on the authentication filter. Okay, the authentication filter now will extend username, password, authentication filter. And we will need the authentication manager here. Let's create a constructor. We will get these from the security config when we call when we apply these filters to the security context and we need two methods here that we have inside this username password authentication filter first one will be trying to authenticate so let's press control o we have we have to override these two methods attempt authentication and what if the authentication is successful so these two methods are enough for us to work with dot authentication filter now the first thing for attempt authentication is get the values so right now we only have the request so imagine that the user will send a json for us and this json will be something like this we will have username that will be batman and we will have password pass so that's why we are uh, using this username password authentication filter with this request with this body on the request we can actually authenticate to make sure that our user has access to our system now let's create a here new object mapper object mapper dot read value and the value we are going to read is the request dot get input string and I want this parse to my application user class so we have our application user and we actually have just run with try catch so we have a request that we will have this in the body so this mapper will get the username and use uh, will set inside the username of my application user and the password inside the password now that I have all this information I have to call the authentication manager the authentication manager knows how to authenticate because we are working in the spring environment and we over uh, we are actually we have our own custom user detail service so it is smart enough to know that it, the application should use this load by username to look for this user so new user name password authentication token use application user font get username and password application user font to get password and the only reason I created the application user class is just because of this line right here it's easier to work so now that I have my authentication manager dot authenticate it's something like this if you want to copy I just have to 
return now if this is successful we will proceed to successful authentication but right now let me throw new runtime exception e if something happens okay now let's go to the most beautiful case when we are authenticated okay um, i am authenticated and now i want my token as uh, you can see here because i don't want to keep doing everything again with mr authentication filter i just want my token and i would like to go straight to my authorization now delete this line let's create another class here uh, called security on stand because we will need a few things to create the dot token for example private uh, static final secret string secret so this secret will be the one used to encrypt our data let's call secret uh, private static okay Ctrl D now this will be the token prefix the parent is calling bearer with a space and now reader string authorization as you can see here we have authorization and we have value instead of basic it will be bearer and instead of this base 64 url will be our encrypted token and long uh, expiration time okay let me see if i'm not mistake one day one two three one two three one two three i think this is one day okay i think this is enough let's go back to our authentication filter and work on the uh, successful authentication now first let's think about our time let's create a zone date time here expiration uh, time utc zone date time dot uh, now zone offset dot utc dot plus expiration time let's import static chrono unit dot millis okay so what is wrong here it has private actually everything is public key now we know the expiration time we have to work on our token so our token will be a string uh, let's call it token uh, j w t s dot builder dot set subject we have a few rules to create tokens especially if we are using uh, open id or auth but for this uh, video i will keep it as simple as possible now you can see here that we have a few parameters and one of them is the auth result so the auth result we can call auth result dot get principle and this principle will be a user from my user details user import class uh, spring security spring core is this user 
right here and we are going to call uh, we need another cast here another parenthesis dot get username okay we are adding the the username to my token because with the username we can use the load by username method right now it's the only thing we need but we could set uh, an entire object if you want it dot set expiration time the date uh, let's call date dot from expiration time utc dot to dot sign with now do not use uh, any kind of uh, sign algorithm let's keep simple using signature algorithm um, HS256 because if you go to dot.io you can see that we can use this algorithm here to decode our token so let's keep using this one and we have a lot of libraries here that I can use with different uh, languages so it's really interesting okay uh, we, uh, we have to compact to actually finish it sign with oh we forgot the secret you see the secret here uh, is secret now we have our token uh, we can write this token into our response or we can add to the reader so for example we can call response dot add reader uh, reader string comma token prefix plus token or if you want to add this token to the response you can call response dot get writer dot write token it's up to you and you can create actually a JSON format here for this token with expiration time and everything now that we have our authentication filter working we have to work on our authorization filter so let's go to our authorization filter and work here authorization filter will extend basic authentication filter and we will call here we will create a method actually an attribute that is our custom user details service now we have to create a constructor that will match the superclass constructor so we have this passing authentication manager and custom user details service all this data will come from the security config now let's uh, override a method call do filter internal this method will be the one responsible for blocking uh, any kind of uh, requests that are not authorized so let's work here calling uh, reader let's get the request the reader from the request get reader reader string Easier. Now, if the reader is no or uh, does not start with token prefix, so we are just checking to see if it is at least uh, using the right format. We are going to call chain dot do filter request and response 
and just return okay so right here uh, it won't pass and access our endpoints now what happens if everything is okay actually have to authenticate that token to see if everything uh, is correct because anyone can create a token and pass to us but it doesn't mean that it, it is the right token so let's create here private username password authentication token let's call get authentication token because this is the authorization part so once we have the authorization we are working directly with our endpoints and our operations so we have the token already so that's why we are going to validate that token HTTP servlet request request now we can get the string username let's call GAWTS dot now it's parser because we already have the token let's set the key we use it set sign a key uh, secret dot parse claims uh, let's we need the token here we didn't get string token request dot get reader reader string now if you want double check uh, you can say if token equals no return no we are double checking just in case this method uh, is not working properly okay now token dot uh, replace we will going to remove the bearer token prefix the so we want only the hash part dot get body dot get subject if you go back to our authentication feature you will see the that we just add the to the subject here the username that's is what we what we are getting now user details user details user details uh, custom user details service dot load uh, user by username now if you want uh, your own user you can call custom user detail service dot load application by username here the username so here you have your application user so if you want to use you can use it too now return if user uh, name is different than oh, new user name password authentication token let's use our application user and we can say no and we can get the authorities from our user details dot get authorities or you can create your user details inside your application user it's totally up to you otherwise we will return no and right here no uh, under the do filter method we are going to call this method get authentication token uh, passing the request we are going to create a local variable and we are going to add to the security context security context holder dot get context dot that authentication my authentication token actually this is not authentication token username password auth it's a better name and chain 
dot do filter uh, request response okay now we just have to go back to security config and instead of using HTTP basic we are going to add our filters so let's add the first filter the first filter is authentication the authentication filter authentication manager where is this authentication manager coming from web security configure adapter control d gwt authorization filter but this one we need uh, the custom user details service okay right now we have everything set up and we just have to reboot our server okay right now let's go to postman we are using the basic authorization if you click send we will see access denied we actually need our token how can we get our token well by default the token is uh, you can get from this URL through Spring Boot login and you should uh, use a post request and in the body let's send a JSON remember that JSON we created on our authentication let's copy it and let's send okay so right now we have our token if you see the the reader the response reader we have here authorization bearer token so we can copy these because we need to pass these exactly like this in order to get the authorization working so we can change this from basic to bear now we don't need any of here just have to say that we are going to pass authorization bear when once we send it uh, access denied mm, let's see why uh, we already got the authentication probably is something with the authorization so let's uh, use one breakpoint here and another breakpoint here and let's see what is happening so let's call again send okay uh, press F8 okay so the reader is no uh, let's check what is wrong as you can see when the reader is not right we get access denied let's see oh okay this is space is the problem let's reboot okay rebooting and let's try again once it's done okay let's try again and we are inside office one if we try office two we have access denied because we don't have any role for access to accessing office 2 now you can see that I rebooted and I'm keep um, still using the same token that's because the expiration time of this token is one day so I can keep using this token anytime I want I don't have to refresh it but if I want I can generate another token uh, and once I generate this token we can send we have here a different token and with this token uh, I can create a new request so it's up to the caller to decide if they want a new token or not but usually they do a uh, refresh token so let me show you here uh, something interesting as I said we are now working with our own authentication filter and authorization filter now if I try to access directly these uh, this resource with this token you will see that we won't uh, pass through the authentication filter we will go directly to the authorization filter and we have already our authentication but we are still working with what we have here authentication and authorization but we are just skipping this step because we already have our identification card and we just have to use it inside the service so that's it dot tokens they are not that complicated if you go to this on web tokens you can copy the the token and see 
let's copy here uh, let's type our secret here a secret uh, let's control V and you can see here our token decoded so for this class that's it uh, it's a little longer than I thought but I hope you like it so see you next time bye